Hello everyone and welcome. Today I, uh, I want to answer a question that this guy over here just asked me and it, it is how to set up MCP. And this is a very simple thing to do. I'm going to show you how I do it. And first thing, go to Google and write Minecraft MCP and you will get a bunch of results. Go to the first one and you will see the license and terms of use and re the releases. You want to download the latest release, in this case 4.4 and it's compatible with Minecraft 1.8.1, just download this. I will not do it because I've already done it. So here is the file. Now if you open it you will see a bunch of stuff. So do not just extract it extract it to a folder or something that has nothing inside and I'm going to rename the folder to MCP so I I know which folder it is now inside this folder you will have some folders and some other files you don't have to know how to work with all these files just two or three and well now that you have this what you have to do is go into your jars file folder I'm sorry and you will see that you have three files in here now what you do is you go to your minecraft folder you know how to go there just write in the run app data enter you will see dot minecraft enter there and copy your bin and your resource resources into there just wait a little bit because it's a little bit big well my minecraft already has mod loader installed if you know how to check for if mod loader is installed yeah you have the base mode class in here so that means that mod loader god mod loader is installed and you'll see i have the meta in folder deleted well once those folders are inside the jars just run decompile and you will have to wait a little bit but I will be back right away <coughs> well guys now that this is done you're pretty much set you will see that you have some other folders like CRC with where the sources are if you see here you have all the the classes and oh well <laughs> now now that this is done open your eclipse and i'm going to show you how to set up that in eclipse as well it's very simple very very simple just let me show you all you really have to do is wait that Eclipse loads <laughs> and inside Eclipse you will go to file switch to workspace and go to your MCP folder which was MCP right here and go into your Eclipse just like that the path MCP slash Eclipse and hit OK. Eclipse will restart and when it does, pretty much set for you to start modding. Very simple, very easy. As you can see, I have all my sources inside of this package. I have the jars if I need to add images or folders here that my mods are required. For servers, I don't really know how to work with servers. Well, so that's very simple. And now, if you this is the cool part, if you run it inside Eclipse, bam, you can play Minecraft inside Eclipse. Very cool for testing your mods without have to re obfuscate and recompile and all that crap. So. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that your question was answered. Well, until the next tutorial guys, have a nice day and peace out.